Mounties have confirmed the man killed near the U.S.-Canada border Thursday has a Prince George connection. 20-year-old Jameson Childress grew up in Bear Lake before moving to Prince George. Today we are learning more about his past. There's the sensor right there. It's a cross-border mystery with local connections. 20-year-old Jameson Childress was shot and killed last week while attempting to flee border guards at Sumas, Washington. It was a fast-changing environment with a uh, suspect attempting to flee, attempting to make it into the United States. Kathleen Holly Edwards knew Childress as a kid in Bear Lake. He was a good kid. Like, he was kind, generous. If somebody had hurt themselves or something, he was always there to comfort you. And, you know, if you, like, you tripped or you fell or something, he was he'd pick you up and help you out, cheer you up. According to the Alberta RCMP, Crown prosecutors in Calgary were in the process of obtaining an arrest warrant in relation to the death of Brando Walker, whose body was discovered three weeks ago near that southern Alberta city. Childress, two other adults, and a 15-year-old faced charges. Childress was about to be charged with first-degree murder. These individuals were known to each other. This was not a random act. Holly Edwards says she kept up with Childress through social media. He would check up on her daughter, but he was a different person than she knew years ago. He got into some bad people and bad drugs and stuff, which had kind of what I'd seen through his Facebook profile and the way he was posting in pictures and things that he would say on like his statuses. He, yeah, he changed quite a bit. She says she and her circle of friends were surprised to hear the news of his death and what had transpired right before it. It's hard to figure out really what had gone on and what exactly he was, what his intentions were, like what, what he was doing. Because I think, I think what had happened was it was all pretty much an accident. It just got, went a little bit too far, I think, and he was scared. Holly Edwards says she last saw Childress in the Lower Mainland in October. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.